Taking a taxi now to Zokalo, which is like a central area, and I will be visiting what is arguably the tallest uh, coffee shop today. Naturally, I'm not a coffee drinker, but if you have a coffee shop with a view like that, you have to go visit it. You just don't have a choice. You just cannot do it, especially if you've been in Mexico for as long as I have been. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. It's Saturday, so what better way to to spend it? I uh, will probably be up with someone, but uh, if not, that's okay. Still, we'll still be having a good time. So let's go do it. I'm not entirely sure what is going on here, but then again, it's Mexico City. You cannot ever be sure what is going on. So I'm just gonna take you around here, give you some real time look into what this place looks like on, on a regular Saturday. It's a lot of people here, as of course, as always. And this is the main square. And for some reason, it's uh, cordoned off. I think there's something going on in there. There's a giant ball right behind me. It's called Speed Shell, so. All right, so what you're looking at right now is the main cathedral of Mexico City. And it's been around for quite a while, probably like 1600s or 1500s, in fact. And it's just always nice to be around this architectural masterpiece. It's so nice to see this thing up close and personal. go get some coffee but as soon as I found that taco shop it's sort of like a hole in the wall type of place but it wasn't all I expected it to be you know didn't have that zest that uh, uh, that redness to it like I you know like I'm used to in other places so uh, I got some lunch now I don't think it would have been ideal if I went and got coffee in an empty stomach so now I'm just gonna continue to that uh, that coffee shop that I Wanted to go. I think it's right there. Let me see. Yeah, it should be right there. I can see it from here right now because it's so tall. The building is so tall. So I'm gonna proceed there right now and uh, go on about my day and you know explore Mexico City like no one's ever done before. <laughs> Alright, so I'm here at the Finca Don Porfirio, the coffee shop. As you can tell, there's a lot of there's a lot of people here. So we have to wait in line for a couple of minutes. I've been here now for about 10, 15 minutes. But it's to be expected, you know. This place is in really high demand. But you might be wondering why I have a face mask that require a nose mask before you come in here, but I didn't have one. So I was looking inside of my bag and I realized that I had a face mask from one of my travels. So that's why I'm improvising right now, the face mask. Really? It's not as well known, but yeah, now 
Oh, is it is it is it as tall yeah, as this? Yeah, it's taller. Actually. Taller. Yeah, it's like here. Oh my god. I'm the Torre Torre Latino. Yeah. Like right there. Yeah. yeah. Well, I probably gave you guys wrong information because I thought <laughs> this was like the tallest coffee no, shop. It, it, it's the most popular one. Oh, so most I people see. Know this, but locals know that. Locals one. know that one, yeah. right? It's it, it's. This, I think this has like a better view. But yeah, I mean, it's because of the view. You can't get something like this over there. Yeah, I mean, it's still I, a great view. <laughs> it has to be. But, but yeah, I think they, they, they want it because it's so full of people. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, okay. It's hard to get like you know, like a seat here, like watching. This. Right here. Yeah, yeah I was so. on the line for like 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. But I don't mind. I mean, this view is is is, is, is crazy. And, and where so, are you from? Um, I'm from Nigeria. No, but Nigeria? I live in the U.S. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but I'm from Nigeria originally. So. And where in the U.S. Uh, DC. DC. Yeah, DC. Yeah, DC. What's your name? Nat. Nat. Like Nathaniel? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How about you? Brenda. Brenda, oh, yeah. okay. Oh, Brenda Glass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Daniel, by the way. Yeah, yeah nice to meet you. Yeah, thanks. Nice. thanks for the information. So you heard it. Uh, there's actually a taller coffee shop in Mexico City. It's like right there. But it's not, uh, it doesn't have as great of a view as what you're looking at right now. And you know, a lot of people just don't go there. People prefer to come here, even though they would have to like stay in line for a long time. People still don't mind that. Um, I know I don't mind. Alright, so what's crazy is I've made two time lapses. I've taken tons of videos. I have had conversations with strangers and my frappe is not even here yet and I don't know what to make of that because it's someone wrote online that the service here is kind of slow and I think that's what it is right now because a lot of people had the same complaints about you know requesting for bill and not coming on time so I think that's the that's the that's the reality here when you come here it's it's really slow I think I've been here now over 30 minutes and I ordered just one frappe just one large frappe that's it but it's still not here yet my frappe finally came after about 35 40 minutes again I'm not gonna keep going on about the poor service I'm just going to stay here and just bask in this gorgeous view right here with my cold frappe so this is my cold car Caramel frappe, really good. I recommend 10 over 10. No, not 10 over 10. I'll give this 7, maybe. So, this is what it looks like in the video. Oh, yeah. Definitely, it definitely has been a long day. I've been walking around all day. Um, I was just uh, finishing up at the at the coffee shop, the tallest or the famous, most famous coffee shop in Mexico City. In terms of service, I would give them a six out of ten. But in terms of everything else that they offer, the view and the options when it comes to like coffee and uh, you know sweets and all that, pastries and all that good stuff. I would say maybe a nine because it was it was really good. Um, I don't know why I've never been there since uh, since I've been here in Mexico, going on months and months now. But there's a lot of places I haven't been to, and that is why I just love traveling slow and doing stuff, you know, really slowly. Because if I go away, I want to have something else to come back to. Um, but yeah, definitely check it out. It's in, inside of the CS building, very tall building in front of the uh, Palacio de Bellas Artes. Um, it's on the floor eight so check them out when you're here and if you have any questions about mexico city or mexico travel related hit me up on instagram i'll put it right here somewhere on the screen and uh just let me know if you have any questions inbox comments and make sure to subscribe while you're here uh, my name is daniel and i will see you in the next video hello <laughs> so yeah everyone's fun here they keep saying hello to me which is good so i'll see you in the next video daniel bye